Hi, Clarissa here. So continuing my series on boundaries, I want to move back to um, something I mentioned in the first boundary um, in the first video. We're just talking a little bit more about sexual boundaries and boundary violations. So my one of my videos was around taking your power and energy back in um, a boundary transgression. And I made it very clear in that video that I was not referring to incidences of abuse or um, direct power, um, abuses of power and control and people who had positions of authority or age using that to take advantage of or get their needs met or overtly um, exploit or really violate uh, another's boundaries. So it's really good to maybe just at this point to return to that and talk to that a little bit because it becomes really messy if, if people are saying, well, you let your boundaries get crossed so it's your responsibility. Um, when it was like, well, hold on, that was not a, a really a boundary crossing between two adults who had equal amounts of control. That was a violation and an abuse of power and it was not okay. So it is not the person's fault that they let it happen. That's what we commonly refer to as victim blaming and it is not a victim's fault. And I mean by victim, I don't really love that word, but you know, someone who was at the mercy of someone who clearly had a greater level of power. And that power might have manifested in their age, so adult to child and, you know, being, you know, adults do need to take authority and, and have the, hold the boundaries for the child. But then there are cases of abuse, meaning, you know, physical abuse or impinging on an older child's right for privacy in their own thoughts like a teenager um, and then, you know, um, authority where maybe a boss is exploiting a worker, um, obviously sexual boundaries, that's a really tricky subject to negotiate. Um, I mean, it's not that tricky. It's kind of obvious if somebody is um, drunk or um, uncertain, then, you know, there should be nothing happening. Um, and if somebody, you know, you get that issue where, it's kind of like, oh, she changed her mind or I talked her into it. That's another common, um, really gray area. I think if somebody goes into a situation not wanting something, there has to be a huge amount of clarity around how they managed to get their mind changed. 